What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and a new franchise. Uh, this is MLB The Show 20. We are starting a new franchise and as you could probably tell by the title, we are our franchise team is going to be the Texas Rangers. You know what? New uniforms, new team, new roster pretty much. I'm I'm excited for this team. I'm excited to use out the new stadium and all that. Couple of notes, we're gonna turn GM contracts off. We're gonna flip everything to manual. And we're gonna start at spring training. That's pretty much the only changes I am going to make besides turning the injury sliders down, which I will show you guys in a second. So we're keeping everything else here at 50, pretty much. We are going to turn the injury frequency down, not all the way, but to like two one instead of like at five and the trade frequency we're going to turn down quite a bit i feel like sometimes the computer gets a little carried away with the trades so we're going to keep these settings and then we'll show you the roster yeah i just feel like if we don't do the sliders the computer is like huffed a bunch of cocaine and is like let's make a deal and just every possible trade that could happen does happen and it's not a great sim experience but that's besides the point we're going to go over the roster now as we do in videos you know it's kind of smart at the start of a franchise to do that we'll go over starting pitchers first Corey Kluber is here the Rangers absolutely fleeced they fleeced the Indians who just aren't a very well-run organization so we have an ace Corey Kluber Lance Lynn and Mike Miner are still here from the previous year Kyle Gibson is a new signee looking pissed off as ever. Edison Volquez is here. We are not really going to use him, or I'm not planning on it at least. And then Jordan Lyles is also here, a new signee. Now, down in the minors, really, we're starting at spring training, so there's a lot of people up. Kobe Allard is a player to watch in the future, potentially. Ariel Gerardo, another player. And then Joe Palumbo. All these guys, kind of interesting players to watch. Brock Burke, another guy. Cole Wynn, maybe, eventually. But all these guys, players to watch for the starting pitcher. Brett Martin doesn't look pissed off at all, but he's kind of our best relief option right now. Nick Goody, another former Indian, I believe. And then we have Cody Allen, another former Indian. We're just Indian South down here, I guess. But, yeah, the it's not a great pen. The pen needs help desperately, and there's not a lot of help coming. Jose Leclerc is the closer. Juan Nicasio is the, the AAA closer. He could get called up pretty immediately, and I'd be pretty comfortable with that. Demarcus Evans is in the majors right now. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm just going to remove him from the 40-man right now. If somebody wants him, somebody can have him. I don't care. Catchers. Catcher's an interesting position because the Rangers are pretty deep when it comes to that. Robinson Chirinos, a new signee from the Astros, returning, really, to the Rangers. Um, he's 35. He's getting up there. He might be trade bait, potentially. Blake Swihart is here, former Red Sox, I believe. Jose Trevino is supposed to be pretty good if he can stay healthy. That might be good in this game. FedEx is back. Jeff Mathis, Foolish Baseball's favorite Baseball bits topic is here. Everything else is rough. I don't even know how to say that name. I don't want to take a guess. Alex Kowalskik. Moving on. First base. Ronald Guzman is here. Sam Travis, another former Red Sox. Camping out in AAA. Greg Bird also there. Would love them in Major League Camp. I think either of them realistically could make the Major League roster. I don't love Guzman, and we have way too many lefties, so he's a player that I could potentially move, and I'd be pretty comfortable with that. Uh, Rugnet Odor is still here. He's an 81 overall. Nick Solak's right behind him, and he's an A potential. we got to find a place for Solak to play. He has good positional flexibility. can play the outfield and third base as well as second base. He's a player you're going to want to watch. We're going to hang on to him. He's probably our best prospect in heavy quotation marks he's 25 so he's not the youngest guy ever but he's got less than 0.5 years experience so he's still labeled a top prospect Todd Frazier the Todd father is here he I don't think that's what he looks like in real life gonna be real 
Dan or Dan Duffy. Matt Duffy is here. Who's Daniel Duffy? No idea. Moving on. Josh Young. That's pronounced Young, believe it or not. Uh, drafted from Texas Tech. He's here. He could be in the majors semi soon. Kiner Falefa's here. He's got good possessional flexibility. He can play all over the infield except for first, and then he can play catcher, so that's kind of huge. Might keep him up for a while. Apostle is here. Sherton. Sherton. Sherton Apostle. Interesting looking fellow. Andy Abanez is also here. Brendan Davis. Elvis is here. Elvis has not yet left the building, but he's getting up there in age, so he might leave the building pretty soon. Anderson Tejada is behind him. Michael DeLeon, also in the minors. D potential. Not sure why we are keeping him around. Josh Morgan there as well. The outfield. Yoey Gallo is our left fielder right now. He has good positional flexibility. We're going to keep him in the outfield, though. This feels like we should be utilizing the arm strength as best as we can. He's got 99 power on both sides, coupled with 18 vision. As a user, that's great. I feel like in sim, it may not be as great. Chu is getting up there in the years, but this is the last year of his contract. So it might be fine. Willie Calhoun is coming up. He's been in the majors, has a broken jaw in real life, but should be able to return by the time we hit opening day. The outfield is kind of a crowded position for us. Danny Santana is another guy. we got to find a place for him to play. He can play anywhere but catcher, so it shouldn't be that hard. And he's a switch hitting option. The fielding is atrocious, though, there at 47. The rest of it's just okay. And, you know, just okay is not okay. Juan Pablo Martinez is here. An A potential guy. Abdul Walker also here. A potential. He's also 28. Interesting combination there. Leota Treveras, a 58 overall, is in the majors as well. Never heard of Hunter Cole. Anthony Buck. It's all that. Let's go look at the lineup and the uh, pitching rotation. In a perfect world, this is kind of what the Rangers roster looks like. So we got Chu, Elvis, Bats, two, Gallo there in the three hole to drive both of them in, hopefully. Todd Frazier is batting fourth, I guess. Calhoun will be five. Danny Santana, six out there in center field. Odor, seven. Chirinos, eight. We could potentially move Chirinos up, though. And then Ronald Guzman, nine. Guzman just can't hit, I feel like. We'll see how he hits in sim. I don't. He doesn't do well, super well in real life. Um, now, some things we could shift around. Santana could sit on the bench. Solak could play center. I'd feel comfortable doing that. Kiner Falefa could pretty much play anywhere when somebody needs an off day. I like having him up as well as a third catching option, just for when Chirinos inevitably gets dinged up. Triv Trevino maybe gets dinged up. Mathis, whoever winds up being the backup catcher. Not sure. Matt Duffy, I'm not sure what we're going to do with him. We have a lot of utility guys. Traveras, I don't think, is going to start the year on the Major League roster, but I guess you never know. Eli White, same kind of deal. We'll see. Greg Bird, another guy. It'll be interesting to see uh, how he does in the spring. I'd love to have him on the team. He seems to hit lefties pretty well. He hits lefties better than he hits righties. Um, but it's bad. Also, Captain Cinderblock hands here, Greg Bird. 66 fielding is aggressive. It should maybe be like 20-something. But that's besides the point. That is the lineup. Here's the rotation. And this will probably change as we go, but it's going to be Kluber, Miner, Lynn, Gibson, Lyles to start the year. Allard, Palumbo. Uh, options if one of them winds up on the DL or IL, whatever it's called now. Hirado, another option, but I don't trust that really at all. Brock Burke, an option down the road. I don't know. I feel like we're in a weird spot. I'm going to make some trades eventually. Not right now. We're going to start the year as the Rangers are in real life. But that's going to be it for the video. Leave a like and subscribe. This is going to be a pretty common series on the channel, so if you like it, let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.